breaking kitchen. That is it. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me! Following Walter's failure, the blue team dominated the challenge, leaving the red team with just one point. You brought meth into my kitchen. But after some negotiations... This is not meth. Are you nuts? I wanna find out. He managed to secure five points, giving the red team a chance for a comeback. Now it's up to Gus to keep this momentum going strong. After a short break, Chef Ramsay returns ready to pick up the challenge where it left off. Listen Kevin, all of you, there's something very important that you need to know. Not so long ago, I've lost a great chef and a dear friend. Can't disclose any details, but today's gas leak in my office reminds us how dangerous this industry can be. Let's move forward. Now, next up, Gustavo. A restaurant can be a dangerous place if you're not prepared. Job currently is what? I opened my first Los Pollos Hermanos in Michoacan. And from there, we've expanded into the United States with great success. Amazing. Describe the dish, please. What is it? These are our signature spice curls. Wow. It's a very complex dish. Enjoy your meal. Visually, they're beautiful. <laughs> I'm delighted to hear that. It's almost like you're cooking beyond your years, so it's a strong fork. Back in line. Sir, if you have a complaint, I suggest you submit it to our email system. We'll be happy to refer you to our website. Your dish is good, pretty good, but it doesn't deserve a fight. I have to ask. Why? I mean, listen, the presentation is a true work of art, but they're not supposed to be that sweet. Have poor judgment. That's called life. In life, like in a plate of fries, sweetness can be deceiving. Right, let's continue with the rest of you now. The winner of Breaking Kitchen, yeah. in addition. Becoming my head chef will Thanks. Ah, thank you, sir. So, what do we got? It's pretty quiet. What is that? Oh, yeah. Wasn't there yesterday. Whose cooking station was it? Bring me Jesse. And once again, the blue team takes the lead, and for the red team... Certainly not my standards. So let's move forward with our signature dish challenge. Remember, it's all about teamwork. Yeah. Oh, okay. start off. Oh, excuse me. to poison you because you're an insane degenerate piece of filth and you deserve to die son of a bitch looking back at the first episode it became evident that gus had tampered with the cooking setup introducing poisons a fido añejo a non-standard item overlooked by everyone including chef ramsay sweetness can be deceiving Take him. Oh, man. 
This is how real this competition is. Hey, you still with us? Go. Ah. Excuse me, everyone. Could you all please take a moment and join me out here? Yes, yes sir. If any of you wish to seek counseling due to lingering trauma, speak with me privately, and it will be arranged. Despite the difficult circumstances, you all acquitted yourselves impeccably. The righteous have no reason to fear. Here, this man has no power. And when they saw that I had no fear of them, they ran like the cowards they are back across the border. They will not return. My friends, I promise you that together we will prosper. We're gonna eat a lot of snacks together. Yeah. <laughs> You remember my pal, uh, Tim Roberts, APD detective? Yeah. Well, he's working on a murder case involving two chefs, Rob Haley and Gail Bedecker, execution style. One morning, workers opened the joint and found their chefs dead. Now, this Gail Bedecker is a bona fide chemistry genius. I mean, he's got degrees up the wazoo, right? So what's a brainiac like him doing flipping burgers in a restaurant? Anyway, uh, lo and behold, uh, amidst all the uh, hippy-dippy nonsense, <clears throat> the place itself is in close proximity to their direct rivals, another restaurant known as Breaking Kitchen. And we found trace amounts of meth there. Maybe they pissed somebody? Like who? Well, like maybe this guy. I mean, what do we know about Gordon Ramsay? This whole friend of law enforcement thing? They look after us, right? Could be a case of keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. I mean, he's got the money to finance this operation. Maybe he's got the connections, too. Maybe, just maybe. He's the mastermind driving the distribution of meth on a grand scale. Hey, no offense, but I think you're really reaching. Seth. What are Gordon Ramsay's fingerprints? A refill, perhaps? Take a Diet Coke, thank you very much. Of course. Doing in Haley and Bedeker's restaurant. 